Hello and welcome back to another episode of XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing the Against the Hive campaign where I'm trying to survive as long as possible against a massive onslaught of enemies getting bigger and bigger. My regret is that we have used the scaling of enemy packs way too early. We're already fighting against packs instead of size 3 of size 5 oftentimes, so it's double enemy pack size already and that unfortunately doesn't only count for the chrysalids which I originally intended but it counts for everything. Double shield bearer, double uh, everything is really really painful. Operation eye tooth is uh, like being at the dentist to get a root canal uh, operation we're fighting with our backs against the wall as we're now up against an alien ruler. I already hate myself for uh, letting that thing go loose into our next missions, but I need the reduction of Avatar Project. We bring our A-team, wrong planet, Zukuger, Namri, Lyrical Taurus, and instead of slotting Hogbite in, who is uh, unfortunately incapacitated after the last mission, we're bringing Haywired, we got our sweet, sweet blue screen rounds, we got a multi-shot, we got our um, frost grenade for the um, potentially snaking if I was to take a back, uh, bet, and I brought a lot of healing with me. This is going to suck on so many levels that uh, I am not looking forward to it. But we need to win this. This is a must-win mission. And we are jumping out of uh, the Sky Ranger as if it would be no man's business. Uh, a no-timed mission is a good change of pace here. It will help us to slowly but surely advance. Okay, so... I was a batting man, I would be saying it's Position confirmed. the Snake King. Somewhere around here. This here looks like a perfect position for our sniper to, to get situated. Wrong planet. We've got a hostile squad here. Okay. Well. Uh, and whilst we're at it, Get it covered. getting Zukuger in there isn't bad either. Roger that. This and that and the other. Roger that. The vigilance, that's a huge problem. There's actually a lot not going our way in this campaign. The RNG is horrendous. We've almost gotten nothing that is worthwhile mentioning positively, but we've gotten so many things that are not working out. Could try to go for the Spectre and just fight these guys. I think we're actually doing that. Moving on target location. Je vais vers la position. Comet Protocol unfortunately doesn't do extra damage against the Spectre, but that's okay. Spectre does have Lightning Reflexes, so that wouldn't work as well. I mean, we could open with a Blinding Protocol. That, on the other side, would be a really, really decent opener. Uh, 
But we could still do that afterwards. I tell you what, we don't have a time limit. Let's just get into a better position. No point in just rushing that. Good, we're moving over. We are frontlining. I'm just putting everybody into a decent position. And we have the anchoring here, right? Right, okay. Good. Well, I can tell you, in that case, Zukuger goes down, and I want him to anchor there as well. Thirty-three. Yeah, sixty-six is good. Okay, let them come back in. We're in a better position now. Just going to wait a few turns. Oftentimes, uh, packs are just patrolling back, and I don't want to push too far in. We have a really decent position here. And as predicted, they are going to move back in. Just a tiny bit closer and we should be Gucci. Good, same situation as beforehand, but this time... Oh, look at you! Okay, well, that's a interesting position. I tell you what, it seems like uh, the enemies want to spot us out, which I'm okay with. Uh, so let's do a full-fledged um, overwatch. They run into us and we'll get that entire... Okay, well, you wanted it, uh, it wasn't me rushing into you. Joke's on you. Nice. 10 points of damage, Taurus also grabs the loot. And... Uh, that's okay, loot. Nothing completely out of the ordinary. Could have been better, could have been worse. <laughs> and we're done with the first pack. That created some noise, so I am wondering if we're maybe triggering another pack. Wow, the predictions are on point, Saiken. Your predictions are on point. Okay, so this is indeed a bit more difficult. See, we got packs of five now. That is double enemy squad size right there. Shield bearer is a problem. Purifier is a problem. Heavy lance is a big problem. Can't even reach these guys.
So, this here would remove cover from both of the frontliners. We would accept that the Lancer kind of gets his way and the trooper gets a shot as well. It's not perfect, but it is a decent play. have uh, theoretically another action but I don't want to do that yet this would be a bit too risky I'm sticking with what I know which is spread out get a couple of decent shots in Continue to spread out. All right, I could indeed kill someone. And I think we need to move up and we're potentially put, uh, putting teamwork onto Zoo Cougar. So what's the most beneficial way of doing that? I think start shredding. Overwatch into Getting rid of the shield bearer right away. Not too shabby. Teamwork over there. We can keep the advanced trooper down, which wouldn't be too bad, so that's one option. Blinding protocol could be another one, getting that trooper down. That's one option. The other one is to just give um, Hayward here a huge boost with eight protocol, 20 defense would be full cover. Now we're blinding protocoling. That also reduces any chance of him carrying a grenade. He's the only one in range to use that. Good hit. 10 critical. Wow. Well, he's a heavy lancer. What, what exactly did I expect?
Continuing to hit them. Uh, I will reload and actually 100% remove the overwatch via suppression. The recoil moves up. Gets rid of the stun lancer. Correctly so. Only had one turn for reload. Not good. Uh, we are moving up. That's a 100% finisher for the guy in full cover. And we want to heal Zukuger. Well, a lot of cooldowns used, but a, pe a pack of five flanking you from the side isn't particularly fun to deal with. Good, the ablative armor, we've only taken minimum damage. That actually wasn't that bad. Moves into cover here. And let's finish that last guy, shall we? Okay, well... Bit of a doozy overall. I need to heal, get back into a proper formation. I, I guess that'll be okay. Time to win round. Good, more healing on Zukuger. It's taken a few hits. Zukuger reloads. Um, Overwatch there, overwatch there. Full reload wherever possible and we just want to first of all stay in position. So Huga moves over here. That's unfortunately not a cover spot. I don't want to push too far in, not yet. We'll do that next turn. I think there's one more pack and the Viper King, plus maybe a few turrets. <clears throat> that would be my reading of the situation. Well, look who has joined us. Very nice. Got the shred right there. Oh yeah. Good job, guys. Okay, this should not trigger.
Very good, because we're out of line of sight, uh, which means we're overwatching here. Uh, if we're frost bombing him, he can't take cover. So let's start with that. the rest of his stupid armor we want damage as much damage as we can get okay almost at that magical mark of one third should have used rapid deployment. Get uh, that would have been even better. Uh, we could charge in, but it would be ultra, ultra dangerous. Taurus overwatches. We take a second shot. Which we're going to do. And he's out. If that thing moves in, we place a defensive mind, so free action, so no reaction from him. And I think we're just overwatching. That triggers a ruler action. Some sort of rift. I cannot begin to... Okay, we, we, we should have a lot of... Run and gun to here. That will trigger him fleeing, but that's okay. We have a couple of overwatches, which you guys are very much late to the party. Okay, well, okay, you shot it for three and another four. Cool. Super heavy turret. Good, we're going to do the little sniper kills turret trick that we all know and love. Into full cover. Overwatching. Well, good news is uh, we are done with the Viper King. Bad news is, as fully expected, El Viper Kingos uh, made it uh, out very much alive. Fantastic. Well, I am quite impressed that uh, we actually made it that far.
Good, there is still a pack somewhere. So I want to be mindful. Let's do this. No problem, boss. Got ourselves into a decent uh, spot over here. And we gotta bring our sniper with us. Got it. Wrong planet. Finally gets rid of his high ground. Good, time for a reload. I'm it's mentioning so often uh, how important the whole reloading thing is. And I want to stand firm to my example and reload when possible. I think this is a fantastic spot for a sniper. And we have a nice little fire line going for us. Okay, that's not good. Ah, another five, to five times pack. And this looks like a sectored mind bender. These guys are the worst. Shot wide. I stand corrected. Advent assaults are pretty bad as well. Okay, for kind of obvious reasons, we're opening the door. Okay, so what is it going to be? Trooper, shield bearer, assault. Can we somehow remove any of these guys? Blinding protocol into a triplet. Well, that is pretty damn good. We're immediately starting with that. If my memory served me well, this here is a critical weakness. Could definitely hit him. Can suppress someone if needed. I think we're focusing on the mind bender first. Let's see if we can get him down. Afterwards, shield bearer. I don't want the shields okay, to go up. Go. Or alternatively, we're actually picking someone else. The shield bearer will just do the shields first turn and then we can take him second turn. Yeah, let's go for the normal troopers. We got two shots. And that already removes one threat. Sure thing. Memory moves in from over here, trying to get that the mind bender. 
That's a very good hit. Good, and instead of doing uh, something with a sniper, <clears throat> I much rather would like us to go into their back line. And try working on that shield bearer. Uh, yeah, we're not needing the breaching maneuver. Overwatch here. And we're good. Decent overall uh, br uh, break that we have taken. Hunkers down, okay. That's a new experience. Takes the shield bearer and reloads. Okay. Straight up kills the shield bearer. Removing all of the shields. The hunker down is nasty, but we can overwatch, so we're fine. I do have an option against it though, which is... Straight up shooting. Uh, and taking cover. Taurus moves up, flanks, damn it, the hunker down is strong with this guy. Moves to here, flanks as well. And of course he can dodge. Can't really hit it. Well, I mean, we could 100% hit him, but that would maybe not kill him. Uh, stupid hunker down. We're going to eat a grenade here, but our chances of hitting them are so minor at this point. I don't know if we should really take them. 0% crit chance. Yeah, we're just overwatching. Come on. Nice. Very good. Okay, moving up. Need to go through the last pack. This here feels like Beta Strike, although we're not playing Beta Strike, it's just our weapons are tickling them at best for now. Which is the problem of not receiving any proper breakthroughs, right? And not having any multi shot skills either. Four points of damage on a breaching maneuver, uh, on a flanking shot, 
isn't necessarily big fat damage as you would expect it. Alright, plant the C4 and let's just get out of here. Seriously. Gosh damn it. Okay, at least we can say we have uh, continued. We've uh, successfully reduced the Avatar project, but that's pretty much about it. Oh boy. Okay, well. In the next few missions, we're going to fight against the Viper King. And that could lead to mission abortion slash just straight up not making it. To remind ourselves, the Viper King will start with full hit points and full armor. And it won't be as simple the next time. Good. Progress on the Avatar project is delayed. That's the most important part. Good. Next facility lead in 8. We get the alien data, cache decryption. That'll give us the intel. That'll give us the facility lead. And I'll research the next facility afterwards. So, we're okay for now. I would like that suit up bonus, so... Yeah, forgot we need the intel. Let's hope we're getting a big chunk. Maximum power consumption reached. Good. Training center would cost us three, and we're scanning for three. Uh, yeah, none of them are particularly different, but we got a coil down here, so might as well start moving into that direction. Uh, I won't build more power at this point. This wouldn't be enough uh, to host a different uh, new building. And we're just waiting until the scan finishes, then we're building training center is a really really good option for us right now we're ready to go commander if you need a skull jack we can build one at any time we'll, we'll build the skull jack mainly because we project. want another way of reducing <coughs> the uh, avatar project Yeah, and plasma grenades potentially the next option for us. Um, yeah, ammunition wouldn't be bad either. <coughs> the bolt caster wouldn't be bad either. It's actually high damage. For conventional uh, weapons, it still works relatively well. The bolt caster is bad in the end game. But in the early parts of the game, it's good. And since our weaponage will stay with the early parts of the game, it isn't bad. Okay, so... Shadow Chamber, not worth it at the moment. Medkit upgrade would be top. So I think we're just going for that. Although I would certainly a 
admire the courage and okay. displayed by our troops in the um, They face a well armed, well trained enemy. And yet they never Yeah, school check is still building, that's okay. Yeah, I think we need the Avenger power and then we're making contact. There we go, that's the plus three power we were looking for. Oh, and the game gives us additional uh, contacts. We're actually going to take them. This is a rare. It's a good side because we don't need to build the building for that. Um, training center. I would like to get some Avenger plotting new course. Some more funds. <coughs> We're not having a lot of income, so might as well try to sell inventory. We don't need that many alloys. Well, we need some, so I should be careful. We need the cores, they are super good. Um, you know, don't need that. The chrysalid corpses we need because uh, they typically build into really good items. Viper corpses we need uh, for a medical upgrade, faceless for mimic beacon get rid of one berserker corpse i don't think that we're going to have a uh, stim not anytime soon okay we're almost at 200 that should be enough to build that training center okay that'll be helpful and we can definitely work with it Avenger plotting new course. back to getting another contact i'm playing a little bit greedy here because we want that extra contact <laughs> investigate reports of a large chrysalid swarm i would actually like to ignore that mission because i don't want to investigate reports of a large chrysalid swarm uh, but I think we need to do it. Uh, if this is the mission with the hundreds of needle exploders that I've played in the other uh, in the Royal Rumble campaign, then I really don't uh, want to, uh, to fight it. But yeah, we have no choice. So this is going to be our uh, meal for the next time. And since we're not going to be presented with other missions, uh, this is pretty much it. So. Buckle up, buttercup. This is what we're going to play the next time. Thank you for watching for today. And if uh, you want to plant some C4 right next to the like button of this video and blow it up, be my guest and let me know how it went. Take care. Bye-bye.